right, we're back with, uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know why Crash comes out here, uh-oh. She thinks we're going down to the pond or something. Anyway, this dog is doing unbelievable. I was going to go do public access, but I might still go. But then I said I'll go tomorrow. Because today I have to get the trash out to the road. Yes, that takes that takes all day. Oh, hi, Shirley. For me, just getting my trash out to the road takes a whole project of the day. And I take it out during the week, but my driveway is so long. And I've got to drive this lawnmower, riding lawnmower up there, and oh, it's a big mess. Anyway, but... Oh, hi, Audie. Uh-oh. All right, so this other dog is just really acting as a distraction. If you said, what's a, di what's a distraction? Take him in! <laughs> it's, it's just really an X factor in the environment. Me having somebody walk by with another dog that's obviously not acting of its own free will, that's not going to be any good. These other dogs that are acting of their own free will are a good gauge. If I can still get this dog to do what I want it to do around other dogs that seem to be acting of their own free will, then its belief is it's acting of its own free will too, or it would just do nothing but want to get to these other dogs. All right. Uh-oh. Oops. Okay. So if you can, I just don't react to him pulling on the blanket. Uh-oh. It's not really that cold today. All right. So what we're trying to do is get the dog doing things by default. A service dog isn't going to be something that has to be ordered around. make the dog go. It can't be always stay, stay, stay. That's the fundamental mistake people make, trying to make it stay, stay, stay. That's the point of the dog. It could run and get some times faster than us. away. Whatever he did caused a big reaction from me. So that's how I know stuff works. Because it works right away. Wow. Uh-oh. Here comes trouble. drill. It really is. If the whole drill, if the whole thing was me out here forcing him to stay still, the fun would be getting away. The fun would be getting away and go to run and play. As far as he's concerned, this is run and play. Wow. <laughs> this is the run and play. They don't understand training. He's not saying to himself, I'll be a service dog one day. Wow. started doing the two objects. We're working up to something called the three object drill. Uh, I just haven't gotten to that yet. I'm just doing the two object thing. And you've got to start doing that. Aaron couldn't understand why the dog did good. I said, you didn't advance the drill. You've got to move past one object. If you said to three, to five even. You would never want to keep it at two. If you said what at three. I like to keep it at an odd number. 
or he said two. Yeah, two isn't an odd number, so that's why I don't like to keep it at two. All right, let me make sure I got the shot. Earlier, I'm sitting there filming. If you said then what? I see that I have the camera pointed at the wrong angle. Oh, hi, Rebecca. Anyway, I don't know. I hope that shot is not a focus. Uh-oh. So if you said he feels compelled to greet this dog every time it comes into his reactionary gap. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. But that's just normal behavior. If you said that's the puppy groveling. Mm-hmm. Right, what? Yeah, come on. So. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh, so I'm already looking. Just get two identical objects. Actually, get three. I don't know if you remember the original basket. I'll do that one tomorrow, girl. But where I was sitting down and there was a basket with things in it. And then they were getting the basket, too. Let me see if I can find that basket real quick. Hang on. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Precious angel. Oh, he laid down right by the phone and waited for me. Anyway, I couldn't find the red basket, but I'll, you don't need anything. I'll, I'll tell Aaron things like, go get a basket. Oh, okay, we've got to go to the store. I know that one time, Jeremy. Oh, I, I, my wife is going to the, wife's going to the store. You, you, you surely got something in your house that will work. Get All right, so this drill, the handler is seated. So Jack is seated, and the dog is lifted. That's a crucial part. The dog is lifted. If the handler seated, the dog is lifted. If you said what would be different, the dog would be picking stuff up off the ground. Oh, you're always uh -oh, kind, of, kind of starting with the dog. The, uh, something's lifted. All right, hang on. Okay. <laughs> he said, oh, you see, he knew how to do it. I don't know if you, there 
was a bunch of videos, Gail. I gotta go back and find them before, unless you were watching them and I just didn't, you didn't say anything. There was copper videos. I mean, I know there was videos before I really started talking to you. I think I found, uh oh, uh oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, crap, gonna do it now. I got her. Oh, she's gonna take it away from me. Oh boy. Okay, crash. <laughs> Whoops. Uh oh. If you said, what did he do? He get in too big of a hurry now. He did look in there first before he got the basket. So if you said, yes, that's the right thing to do. Then once the basket's on your lap, if you say, what if they try to take the stuff? Oh, he's giving her the shake off. Oh, she's all in the business. If you said, what if it was a little kid? Yeah, it could be. It could be anything trying to mess up your drills. Uh -oh. <laughs> anything could be trying to mess up your drills. <laughs> Crash, you need to go play, Crash. So, you know, he's trying to get rid of her. If you said nicely, yeah. That's the body blocking for service dogs that people like. Oh, yeah, he body blocking her to keep her away. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, boy. Don't look at him. <laughs> He's body blocking her. <laughs> Crash, you're going to have to go in the house if you don't go play. Okay, so if you said he didn't look in there first, what's the fix? I'm going to show you. The fix is this. You go like this. Okay, now he should How cute is he? Anyway, you're not trying to get some dog over there for a distraction, Gail, or anything like that, but she just happened to run out here. He said no one at Home Depot could be more of a distraction than her. Not really. I'm going to work her later. I don't know if you ever saw her do. She does all the drills too. Doesn't even have any eyes. One time someone said, are you sure she can't, sure she can't see? She doesn't have any eyes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure she has eyes to see. All right, so I can just do it as a default. So this isn't a default drill per se. I mean, it's just a more obvious kind of drill. The default drill, you seemingly don't notice the thing fall. All right, hopefully, once I'm not sitting there, she might take off and go do something else. Okay, so if you said, what's the difference with the default drill? The default drill, the handler doesn't notice the thing fall. There, it's obvious nothing fell. That's just, you know. I didn't even see it. Then I got the keys and then went over here. Oh, I, I just got to run a few more drills, but he's doing great. And Crash is just acting as, if you suggest a distraction. She's a distraction because she's got unusual behavior. It doesn't match up with a normal dog. She just walks into things and stuff. Some dogs are afraid of her. If you said she default downs to the platform. Yeah. I'm going to put him up. I'll get her out next. But yeah, she, she's got all the exact same behavior. It's unbelievable. Well, she gets the keys, all of it. There's, there's videos called Crash Finds 10 Tiny Keys. If you said how big were these keys were like this big. They were decorative keys I found on eBay, I swear to God. I wouldn't believe it either if it wasn't on film. All right, I'm going to put him up. I'll get her 